Hi, I'm Mo Kamama. I'm sitting here watching the, this uh, Republican presidential debate on my television. What a shit show. I'm telling you, this is like a clown car had an accident right underneath the big top and nobody even talked about it. What a bunch we got here. Let Where do we start? I already, everybody knows my feelings on Donald Trump, but I want to tell you, watching him tonight, number one, he got that orangutan orange kind of hair. And his skin matches it perfectly. Never has there been a man so orange. And he has a way of making this whole damn shit show all about himself. Which you gotta give it to him. That is very masterful. I took notes here because I can't even remember all these people. Some of them I never saw before. Dr. Ben Carson. He's the only nigra in the whole thing. Oh no, did I say that? I just watched The Help the other day and they used that word so many times. Sorry. I ain't no racist. But, you know, I don't know about him. He seems very smart and stuff. But, you know, um, as a doctor, he separated some conjoint twins, which I think reduced their chances of getting a good career in the circus. You know, and that, that ain't good. Then we got Rand Paul. He's that little one with the jerry curl, you know. And I'm thinking that the Republicans is thinking, we need someone who looks as close to Justin Timberlake as possible. Let's stick him in there. But I, quite frankly, I don't think he's near as talented as Justin Timberlake and not near as cute, neither. Then we got Carly Fiona. Oh, my. Oh, my. She looked like a little bird, don't she? She looked like she could be Selena Dion's mother. I don't know if we need... That kind of little frail thing in there. And next thing you know, she's going to be uh, having a heart attack and dying. And then Celine's going to have to come and do a benefit show for her. Uh, I just don't know. I think Donald Trump was right about that. Look at this face. Who would want this for the president? You know, I'd love to see a woman president. But I'd like to see a, someone a little more manly like Hillary Clinton. And we got, oh, Jeb Bush. Oh, my God. If this country... And if this country votes in another Bush, there is something serious wrong in the brain with people, okay? But he was talking about how his brother, uh, George W., kept this country so safe. Did he forget that his brother blew up the World Trade Center with all them little bombs he had put everywhere and then pretended he was at school in Florida when it all happened so he wouldn't look like he's guilty? And how the hell did that other building in the World Trade Center fall down all by itself when nothing even hit it? And what about that Pentagon? Yeah, it got hit by a plane, but when it when they looked around, they couldn't find no pieces of no plane. Yeah, George W. kept the country real safe. Who else we got? Oh, Ted Cruz. I don't know where this one crawled out of, but he looked like he got a mix of like Down syndrome and with a little touch of Latino in there. I, you know, that's not what we need, babies. Oh, and poor Chris Christie. You know, he's standing there. Finally, his weight's just getting to him. He started r downright just leaning on the podium because he couldn't stand his fat ass up no more. And all he's thinking to himself is, I thought they said there'd be donuts here. And there weren't no donuts, poor thing. Mike Huckabee, oh, that poor old man. Give Somebody give this man a chair. He can't stand up for two hours. How old is he? He's like 80 years old. Jesus mighty. Then, oh, what really got me ticked off is when they started talking about uh, marijuana. Okay. Now, I think there ain't nothing wrong with marijuana. They're calling it a gateway drug. Marijuana was never... I've been smoking marijuana since I'm 17 years old. And marijuana was never go, no gateway for me. After marijuana, I was perfectly happy just giving up heroin and cocaine and crack and, and my Oxycontin. As long as I had my marijuana to go back to, I was just fine. So I think marijuana is a good thing. All in all, who do I think won this debate? I will tell you. Of course, the one that got the most screen time was Donald Trump. He's a master at that. But the one I think won is Marco Rubio. Okay? Because he is the cutest one there is. And he got them biggers, and I can just see myself grabbing them biggers while he's eating my pancake. Ooh, I will hold him on with all my might. All right, well, those are my thoughts on the Republican nominees. When we have our Democrat convention bullshit, I will, come, I will get back to you, all right? Until then, I'll talk to you soon. I love you all. Bye. Psh. Do, 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 do